welcome. I'm Meg from Calvert Library, and I'm here today to talk to you about what Calvert Library can do to help support learning from home. Here's my information. The first thing we're going to talk about today is crab cards. First, crab cards are for all students to access digital materials. Your crab card is the CALV and then the five digit lunch number. This is something that has been set up uh, with a partnership with the Calvert County Public School System. Every child who's enrolled in uh, the public system has a lunch number that's their student number. So CALV plus the lunch number will basically be your crab card. Uh, the password is usually the eight digit birthday. The only reason that would be different is if uh, you made that change. So right now, um, if you've never even heard of crab cards before, CALV plus the five digit lunch number and your password is going to be the eight digit birthday for each child. If I, you have, yeah. Sorry. Well, oh, this is already answering my question. I was going to ask what happens if you don't know the crab, your lunch number. <laughs> if you don't know the lunch number, um, you can contact the school to find out the lunch number or if there's any problem. For instance, you um, do know the lunch number and you try logging in and using that card um, and you find out that it doesn't connect to anything. Uh, it may be that your child is new into the system and hasn't yet been added, um, or there's some other issue. Please give us a contact at uh, Bev, Bev, Izzy, or Colleen Cano, or to talk to your school librarian. The, the information you'll want to give them is the child's name, address, phone number, date of birth, and the lunch number. And with that information, we can set up a brand new crab card for that student. So. If you um, are using the crab card or even the child's uh, personal card, you can borrow digital materials on one of the three platforms that Calvert Library offers to borrow material. Um, Overdrive, Hoopla, and RB Digital. RB Digital is going to be merging with Overdrive very soon. So um, that one is going to be, we're not going to focus on that one today, but Overdrive and Hoopla are the two main uh, platforms that you can borrow books, audiobooks, and with Hoopla, music, movies, television episodes. Um, but in each of these cases, you need to use your library card to set up an account on these platforms. And once you've set up an account, then you can borrow the material based on each of the different platforms uh, criteria for borrowing. So for instance, with OverDrive, OverDrive is a lot like a regular library in that um, if it's a popular book or a new um, item, you might have to wait for it. Overdrive, we, pay, we the library, pay for it uh, as a flat rate, and um, they limit the copies of the books that are available. So um, new and exciting things, they'll have multiple copies of them, but, you, but they'll be checked out. You might have to wait. So you can still place a hold request on those books, um, and, and wait for them to come in, um, but definitely there's that restriction uh, with OverDrive. Hoopla is different in that we, uh, we pay for Hoopla by the download, so we're offering our customers eight downloads per month, but you will never have to wait for anything from Hoopla. Everything is available instantly. Um, both of those platforms have books and audiobooks, and Hoopla also has music available and movies and some television episodes as well. But with Hoopla, you are restricted to eight downloads per month. We also offer Tumble Books, which is great for early readers and um, picture book users. So Tumble Books is an interactive platform um, where you would use either the app or your desktop. I think the app is actually much more effective um, for that particular platform. 
Um, it has the picture books and the early read books uh, animated so that as you're turning the pages, it's highlighting the words as they're being read aloud. Um, and there's interactive things like you can check definitions of words. Um, there's activities on several of the books and um, it's, it's pretty fun. It's very enjoyable and great for people who are making the transition uh, from reading, being read aloud to, to reading on their own. Hey Meg, can I ask a question about, you said create accounts, and I know a lot of times when you create accounts you have to use an email address, but the school system's email addresses for the students don't accept external emails, like they can't get an email from home or from a company, so what do you do about that? That's a great question. Uh, that's absolutely true. Not all of the student accounts, uh, email accounts are accessible. It is best practice, even if you think that you're, you know, sometimes the high school, I think the high school students, they are accessible in, um, by email, but it's best practice to use a personal email account when setting these, uh, setting these platforms up. Um, all of our, all three that I mentioned, Overdrive, Hoopla, and TumbleBooks um, have an app, an associated app. And with Overdrive, the apps are Libby, um, and Sora is actually, uh, it, you can also use Sora. If your child's um, school has set up the kid-friendly borrowing platform that's overdrive related sora you can use both libby and sora to access materials for your student um, but both of them overdrive and hoopla you can set up the account directly from the app which is wonderful meg i just want to make sure i understand what you can check out with your craft card um, if you're in the library you can only check out print materials, but if you're using digital borrowing, like with Hoopla, can you also use your crab card to get the music and the movies or shows that are available? You absolutely can. Everything that's available digitally is available digitally using your crab card. You're, at, you're correct. So if you're in the library, um, your crab card is good for print materials, physical print materials, but digitally they can borrow everything that's available to borrow in our digital system. Okay. Now we're going to um, talk about the premium databases that are available. Um, we have a lot of extras that the schools have some, some and we have um, matched and, and done some very wonderful supportive uh, databases. So for instance, as the school systems have available Britannica, the Encyclopedia Britannica system. We also have offered World Book Online, uh, which is absolutely amazing. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you what World Book looks like. So first of all, from our homepage, um, Calvert Library, we would be going down here to uh, re research and learn, and we're going to the Children's Premium Digital Resources. And once you click on that, it'll take us over here to the digital resource page. And if you scroll down, you can see under encyclopedias and click on it. We have several encyclopedias available for all different levels of school. And then at the bottom is World Book Online. Click on World Book Online and you'll need your library card to enter. And once you're in, you can set up an account, but you don't have to. Um, once you're in, you can um, search around in World Book Online. It's wonderful. There's lots of um, articles, visuals, interactive features, um, activities for your students of all different ages. So let's take a look really quickly at Sheep and see what they have. They've got a great introduction for Sheep. Um, oftentimes in the middle of an article, it'll have a highlighted uh, word and you'll be able to go forward and look into definitions. It's very fun. Um, this it also has uh, places where if you're writing a report, it has help for um, getting your uh, 
citations made, which is interesting as well. Okay, so World Book Online is a wonderful resource. Um, we have several other resources that are great for um, doing skills building and getting, um, getting tutoring done. And the first one, Learning Express, you would get to through research and learn as well, um, either through premium uh, digital resources or the, or the homework help. Uh, Learning Express has practice exams, they have skills building, they've got a lot, it's wonderful, it's a great resource for, um, for helping get just a little bit of extra help for subjects that you might need a little bit, need to know a little bit more about. The other one that we use is called Help Now Brain Fuse, and Help Now Brain Fuse is extremely useful if the child is interested in having uh, live tutor help in almost any subject matter. So from math to uh, language arts and science, there is um, a qualified um, vetted teachers are available to tutor from one o'clock in the afternoon to 11 o'clock at night daily. Um, you do need to create an account in BrainFuse when you are um, setting up to do tutoring, um, but BrainFuse also has a lot of other features as well. They also do skills building um, and have some practice things. And the, one of the coolest things about BrainFuse is that they offer a writing lab. Again, you do need to set up an account to, to take advantage of the writing lab, um, but the writing lab is where anything that you would write that you would like to have looked at, uh, a report, for school, even a piece of prose or, um, or uh, something for college, anything that you write, you can submit in the writing lab and have it uh, edited and sent back to you with notes. Um, it, the turnaround for that is pretty good. It's, it's up to 48, within 48 hours. So that, that turnaround is very quick. Uh, if you have a, a report that's due, um, they do usually get it back to you before 48 hours, but that's the that's the limit for the for the um, writing lab. It's a great resource. Meg, can I ask you a question about sure. um, Help Now and Brain Fuse and maybe yeah. Learning Express? Do they have any help with test prep like SATs or AP exams? Is there any support yes. for those? Absolutely. Um, Learning Express has a, all of the most recent um, prep books available in full, and they also have multiple practice exams for, um, for the SAT, AP exams, um, as well as ACT tests. So um, there's a lot more available too through Learning Express and BrainFuse, um, but those practice exams are invaluable. There's also links to the driver's test uh, as well. So um, we have links to MVA so you can practice your driving exam for those who are getting ready for that. All right, let me go ahead and switch over here to um, talk to you about Dogo News. All right, I'm going to show you here under research and learn, and we're going back to the children's premium digital resources. And then right here in the center, Dogo News. This is a new service that we're offering, and it is a articles meant for and curated for kids of a lot of different age groups. So um, each of the articles that are available have um, several different interactive things on, on the right hand side. You can read the article. There are um, definitions in the, in the links. And on the right, you can listen to it being read out loud. There are quizzes after you've read to see if um, a comprehension for reading as well as vocabulary list available on the right. And again, just like in the World Book Online, um, you can cite your article for a report if need be. It's a really cool new 
uh, service that we're offering through Calvert Library, Dogo News. And I understand that Dogo means young one in Swahili, I believe. I, I, had, I thought it was really interesting because when I was uh, thinking about it, I was wondering if it was Dogo or Dogo, but I believe it's Dogo from the Swahili. So that's very cool. So that was the Encyclopedia, Learning Express, Help Now Brain Fuse, and Dogo News. We also have um, now right up front on, on our um, research and learn uh, links to the New York Times and the Washington Post. Um, they're not exactly a subscription, like you're not reading the paper, but it has all of the articles um, up to now, uh, which are absolutely uh, extremely useful for folks that are um, trying to find out uh, more recent information. We've had the newspaper archives available for a long time and you can access all of the newspaper articles, archives, as well as the New York Times and Washington Post um, from home at this point. It used to be you had to be in the library to access them, but now um, you can be in your own home and get, and get access to the, to the newspapers. But um, with the newspaper archives, the more recent articles um, are not available. And so the, just to be able to access the New York Times and the Washington Post's most recent articles, um, I believe we have the New York Times goes back to 1985 and um, the Washington Post goes back to the year 2000 for those most recent articles. So that's very convenient. Meg, if you're using your crab card to access some of these, does it limit the content to what some might say is kid appropriate content? It does not. Um, that is a great question. There aren't any limits um, within the, the databases uh, that, that recognize the crab card as being a student card. So uh, it, it, does give, it does give all of the same access to your child that it would give to an adult. There's no content uh, restriction. Great question. The last two that I wanted to feature that would be helpful for students um, are lynda.com and Mango Languages. Lynda.com is a um, video tutorial database that focuses on uh, software. So if you can imagine a software that exists in the world, Linda most likely has a tutorial to support that software. Uh, pretty much anything, Photoshop, Lightroom, um, all the learning Microsoft products, uh, getting brushed up on, and, it, and the different levels of, uh, of tutorials are also varied. You've got early beginner stuff and you've got advanced and everything in between. Um, the, one of the great things about Lynda is it's a service that is a paid subscription service in, in the non-library world. It's about a $25 a month subscription for this. And the quality of the instruction is so high that Linda offers certifications for a lot of their classes. So if you're trying to brush up skills um, for work or for a resume, you can offer uh, a, a, a certification from Linda as proof that you've completed a course through Linda, and they're very well received. So though the Linda courses are uh, well-respected video tutorials for a lot of different um, different uh, softwares out there. And it, on top of the software, um, they have some varied other things as well, hobby type things like photography, guitar, playing the guitar, um, and, and marketing suggestions, business and marketing. Um, there's also a class called Supporting Your Kids Learning at Home. It's an hour and 21 minutes, and uh, it looks really fascinating as well. So um, you will need to create an account with Linda, and you can create that account using your library card. Okay, and the last one on the list is the Mango Languages. Um, if you're familiar with Rosetta Stone, Mango Languages works very similarly. It does offer about 70 plus different languages to choose from. 
Um, you do, it is very helpful if you can create an account and that way you can keep track as you go through the courses, it will keep track of what you've done and where you're at in your studies. And um, it also is a, uh, an app as well so you can install the app and take it with you mobily it's wonderful okay all right um the last this one is uh, our new learning from home page how to access that i have another question about crab cards sure if your student is not currently enrolled either temporarily or because maybe they've graduated um does the crab card expire the crab card should expire at age 18. Um, so at the end of their 18th year, they should have it through 18. We'll come over here to research and learn, and then down here to learning from home resources. Um, this one gives you those links to the play, things that we already talked about, Brain Fuse, which has the homework help, skills building, um, tools like my file sharing, session replay, tutoring archive. Those are um, individualized, set up your, your learning at home tools, the writing lab, and the um, tutoring. And then it also gives you a little quick view into what's available with your library card as well as a host of links to some of the resources that we've already talked about and if we go back to the homeschool resources this page again shares several of the same uh, links but it also talks about um, some of the uh, connections that you can make to get started doing homeschooling. So we have links to the associations, um, selected Calvert Library resources, which again, go back over some of the ones that we've already talked about, um, the Dogo News, uh, the Learning Express. And then um, here are a bunch of just the resources that you might use. And I think, um, the local groups is going to be the most useful. You'll be able to check out some places that are already working and, and they've already formed and they're very have, have a lot of support. Um, and as well as um, teaching resources and um, field trips. So this is just the best combination of all kinds of not only resources, but also links to organizations that have already been established and can offer support. Great ideas. All right. Meg, you, you kind of skimmed past something that I think could be really helpful sometimes. The Calvert Library can do videos, which really show in-depth, easy to use, um, instructions on how to use a lot of these resources. So if you see a resource that you want to try and you're not sure what to do, those, that can do section has a lot of help in just figuring out how to use the resources. That's a great point. Um, when we get to the end of this presentation, um, I will talk a little bit about YouTube and uh, some of our social media platforms, but YouTube especially um, has a uh, a wonderful um, playlists have already been curated that have some activities and show you how to do things digitally as well as some community partner videos. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll bring that up at the end. Let's see. So after all of that learning, we also offer some fun things. Canopy is a streaming movie service. Um, which features documentaries and independent films as well as a lot of classical films from the Criterion Collection. Um, Canopy is, an, it, it works a lot like Hoopla in that you get uh, eight streamed movies per month. 
uh, that's the calendar month. So if we go and take a look at it, I'm gonna move over to Canopy right now. All right, if we click on Canopy, it's under the Read, Listen, and Watch tab under the Watch uh, section of Read, Listen, and Watch from our homepage. Canopy has its own kids. So when you go, to, if, if you check into Canopy and you create an account, it looks like this. And then you can flip to Canopy Kids and it gives you curated children's material um, with wonderful videos and animated and, and live action movies that are uh, kids, just children's, children's focus. Now with a lot of the Canopy Kids, they are not, they don't count towards your eight per month, I believe. There's uh, several that are free through, just completely free. So they don't count towards your borrows, especially with the series, you can um, watch a bunch of them and they don't uh, take away from your eight. Another one that we offer is, here it is, Creative Bug. Creative Bug is a, um, it's like lynda.com with uh, a focus on DIY and crafting. So it has video tutorials for tons of crafting ideas, uh, just about anything you can think of from felting to crochet and um, tutorials that go, by, go through all of the different materials you're gonna need and step-by-step -step instructions to how to make certain things. So that's also a lot of fun. And the last thing that we have available is um, Freegal. And Freegal is a streaming music service that we offer that is, uh, you get a lot of um, music from Sony. Freegal is a Sony company that has music that you can stream. I believe it's three hours per day. Is that correct? You, is it, I think it's three hours per day. And you can download three songs per week and keep them. So it's a lot like Spotify or Pandora, but you do get to keep several of the songs and just hold on to them, which is really cool. All right, so let's see. If you have questions and you're looking for additional help, Go ahead and email us at getanswers at calvertlibrary.info or give us a call at 410-535-0291 and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Also, let's go back and talk a little bit about social media before we uh, finish up. And Calvert Library has several different platforms um, for social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Now, as Michaela was talking about, YouTube has all of those can-do digital videos in one place. Um, we also have them available on um, the other platforms as well, but they're collected and curated on YouTube. So let's go ahead and flip over to YouTube really quickly. So if you go to YouTube and you search for Calvert Library, this is our Calvert Library page. And you would go to playlists and you can see all of the playlists that are available, including the It's Elementary videos, teen interest videos, and the Can Do Digital videos. So Can Do Digital videos offer um, multiple different um, videos on all kinds of different subjects, including World Book Online, lynda.com, Creative Bug, Freegal, and more. Right, once those videos are up on YouTube, are they there forever or do we have to make sure we see them quickly? Most of the videos that are on YouTube will be there for a while. The exception to that rule is the um, snippets videos, which are going to be up on our YouTube channel through December. And after that, they are subject to the copyright restrictions that the publishing companies 
have uh, have um, put on us for the COVID time period. So. Um, so many of the publishing companies have given permission for us to read aloud books, um, which we have taken advantage of during this time. And we've uh, done a lot of uh, uh, story time snippets that have read aloud stories and show the books. Um, and But we'll be only available to use those until uh, through the month of December. And then those that have associations with the copyright will, will, will be gone from our uh, YouTube channel. But the activities and DIY, those will still be available and you'll be able to watch those as well as the can do digital videos. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And I am excited to, um, to let you know all of the wonderful things that we have to offer uh, for, for people just learning at home. And again, if you have any questions about anything that you heard today or you want more information, give us a call at 410-535-0291 or email us at getanswers at calvertlibrary.info. And thanks again to Michaela and Robin uh, for supporting this video and asking some great questions. Thanks. Have a wonderful rest of your day and stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.